expectation from any business like Greenline into logistics is assurance of fuel supply, which we give it to them. And also timely development of the infrastructure for dispensing this fuel. So we, we planned ourselves in such a way that wherever is the catchment area for Green Line, the business when they get through, we would be timely available for them the, for the fuel dispensing so that the trucks can have seamless operation. Especially when you are on LNG, the infrastructure is limited. We are working like a spider network growing from a small web to a larger web to cover the whole country. And I hope we will do it jointly along with Green Line. I would say whatever we have done for last one year, the relationship will only deepen. And it is like uh, the egg and the chick story. When are the trucks, the, when will the fuel station come in? In here, we are partnered with Green Line and we have code interdependence on each other. Wherever Green Line wants to take the truck so that they cover the pan-India coverage and also ultra gas will follow to make sure that their endeavors of towing right from north that is in Kashmir to south in Kanyakumari or from Jamnagar in east to Jorhat on uh, uh, Jamnagar on the west to Jorhat on the east will be covered. So we would be going along with them all across trying to develop a national network Immediately, we have two stations that are operating. One is in Kanchipuram Shri Prambadur. The place is called as Vallam, where uh, Green Line trucks come in and they offtake the gas and they try to cover their southern operations from there. The second station that is operative under ultra gas is at uh, Anand, which is on the Mumbai Delhi corridor. It's a midpoint which allows them to move the cargoes from northern India to western and from west to an extent in the south uh, uh, part of the country. The next stations that are coming up is focused around where Green Line is securing business or has already secured the business. Like for example, Pune coming up next, Bilwada, Udaipur, then JNPT and another station at Jalna. With this, I think we would be making sure that we at least have a network of 25 stations available by end of March so that Green Line can equally expand its logistic network to all parts of the country.